President-elect Trump has not made clear whether he intends to deport illegal immigrants, but that issue is heating up right here in Georgia. Now, one state lawmaker plans to draft legislation that would punish colleges that try to declare sanctuary, camp, sanctuary status. Uh, that move comes after Emory University's president said that the private school is considering a request to become a sanctuary campus. Well, Fox 5's Claire Sims spoke with that lawmaker tonight, and Claire, he says he's not alone in this. Yeah, Representative Earl Earhart says several citizens and other lawmakers reached out to him when the Emory news broke last week, and he plans to address the issue in legislation come January. Better to be safe than sorry. State Representative Earl Earhart of Powder Springs says he and other Georgia lawmakers are already looking at ways to combat the idea of colleges and universities declaring themselves sanctuary campuses. The idea making headlines after Emory University President Claire Sturk wrote a letter responding to a petition by some students and faculty in the wake of the election to make Emory a sanctuary. In 2012, President Barack Obama's administration started Started what's known as DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, which temporarily protects some illegal immigrants brought to the U.S. as children from deportation. Some believe President-elect Donald Trump will put an end to that policy. I mean, you don't get to pick and choose which laws you're going to follow. And if you do, then the state funds and probably federal funds, depending on what President Trump does are not going to follow. Earhart is the leader of the House's Higher Education Budget Subcommittee and says writing something into the state budget that withholds public funding from sanctuary schools may be enough to put a stop to it. Private schools like Emory get millions of dollars in state grants and other public funds each year. Emory issued a statement to Fox 5 saying in part, Emory follows all federal laws and policies and will continue to do so. Emory administrators are a evaluating the petition in an inclusive process to determine how best to serve those in our community whose immigration status may put them at risk. You can take that either way. I'm going to take it that they're, they're going to follow the law. I'll take it at their word that they're going to follow the law. Representative Earhart says some lawmakers want to go a step further and create laws that would allow them to sanction university presidents or other leaders who interfere with federal laws. Sine? All right. Thanks, Claire.